Okay, uh, here I am. It's uh, Monday morning. I was just out in Iowa all week. Uh, well, most of the week. Uh, bought a lot of beaver, bought a lot of coon, uh, filled up the trucks. Iowa guys, great job this year. But today, I just want to talk about spring beaver, our beaver routes in the spring, catching beaver for the rest of the year. And also, I want to show you about scraping beaver. Just wait one second, Pancho. Can you wait? Okay. Um, I want to show you about scraping beaver. So, um, Pancho is going to uh, scrape a couple of beavers here for you. People say when they come to the truck, why do you want them frozen? Or why do you want them green? And you don't want them stretch and dried. Well, we know how long it takes. It takes 20 minutes maybe, or a fast guy, 12 minutes to scrape a beaver. Then to tack it on the board with nails or stapler and then take the staples out. It takes a lot of time to stretch and dry a beaver. And uh, that guy can be out, you know, catching more beaver if he wants to. If you want to stay in your first shed and do it, we're more than happy to buy spring beaver that are scraped. But we want to show you how long it takes us to scrape a beaver. And uh, when you bring them to us frozen, um, you know, we say, hey, it just we scrape them by machine. And that's why we want them green, because we don't want you guys, we don't want that to be like a, a hurdle in you guys catching beaver that I can't scrape them, I can't put them up, so therefore I'm not going to trap beaver. So we've taken that hurdle out for you. So here in the back, I've got a, it's like a, uh, this is like a super blanket. Probably we paid uh, 20 bucks for this on the road, okay? So I'm going to have Poncho scrape this beaver. Uh, he's going to scrape this beaver. I'm going to keep talking to you while he scrapes it. Here's a, here's a beaver to scrape, Poncho, okay? Okay, he's, gonna, he's got one in there right now. He's scraping. After that one, he's going to scrape that one. So go ahead and start scraping. He's got one in the machine right now. He's scraping. Okay, he just he just finished that one. No, okay, so now he's going to start. He's going to start the one that we just did. Go ahead, Poncho. Show him how fast it is. Okay, okay. He just scraped this one. It's done. He's scraping the one I just handed him. Uh, that's the big uh, triple X. Okay, okay. So that one's done. So there it is. That one's done. That quick. He's going to keep keep scraping Poncho while I'm talking. Um, so, you know. Uh, that's why we want you guys to be aware of what we're doing. That's good enough for right now, Poncho. So there, he's got another one done already. So that's why we want you guys to be aware of, you know, what we do at our factory and uh, why it, uh, it's cost, cost effective for everybody. And when you bring your, uh, the beaver to the truck, just leave them frozen, don't thaw them out. And you, you fold them, the best, way, the best way is, this is the beaver that he just scraped, the, the big one. So uh, this is the best way to fold them, just like that, okay? Nose to tail, or right down the spine, okay? And if you have to, of course, you can fold them in quarters like that, okay? Don't, don't roll a beaver up. There's no, it's not necessary to do that. So that's, that's why I want to encourage you guys uh, to trap beaver. Uh, all you have to do is skin it. And we also buy the caster, green or uh, like frozen, and then, or you can dry it out. We buy it either way. So um, we've got routes that are coming up uh, this year. Specifically, we're doing routes all over the Midwest uh, for spring beaver runs, including Iowa. I'm going to post, I bought a lot of beaver in Iowa. There's a lot of beaver in Iowa, and guys want a spring trap. But sometimes they say, like, you know, where do I store them all year? You guys come around back in the fall, and I've already trapped. So now we're going to do spring beaver runs in the spring, so you have to store them all year in your freezers and bring them to us in the fall. So that's why we're going to do them in the Midwest. Bryce is moving back uh, his route in Michigan to the very end of the season. So you'll see us make a schedule change there. Michigan, watch out, guys. We're changing the schedule at the end of the year. We're moving it back after your, after your season is over with the spring beavers, OK? So and you guys can trap the whole year because it's for the hatter market. The holes, the damages, they don't matter. Okay, I could have cut a hole in that beaver that he just scraped, and it doesn't matter. I don't lose any money on it. Okay, so the the bites don't matter on or the you know the uh, uh, you could say when they get all damaged in the spring, it doesn't matter. Trap to the very end of the season, and we can use those beavers. And we're pushing it because we're, we're we we need beaver, and uh, we have a semi in the other fat on the other side of the road. We have a semi finishing product that we do with uh, with the beavers, and that's. That's what we're using them for. It's all for the Hatter market. So that Iowa route's coming. 
We buy caster. I just want to encourage you guys to trap. Guys are loving trapping. What, you know, what, what do you trap this year? You can trap all the way and have trap spring beaver, okay? And uh, I guess the other thing I wanted to encourage you to say is, I want to encourage you is, you know, the otters, when you're trapping the beavers, we can use those. And also uh, guys in the south, the otters and the cats, uh, we can use those this year. Uh, skunks, bought a lot of skunks, we can use skunks. Uh, so uh, just something to think about uh, as we go through this year. So yeah, that's, that's why I did this, because I, I get to the truck so many times and guys are saying like, why do you guys want them green? Why, you know, it's like, it's so hard to scrape a beaver. So I just showed you, go ahead and scrape a couple more, Poncho. Okay, so while I'm talking here, you got Poncho over there. Okay, you just put one in. He's got one side done, one half done, I should say, not one side. He's got the other side done. And then keep doing, doing another one. Okay, there you have a, that quick, you know, he just scraped a beaver. And then when we, and then when we stretch and dry it, we just stretch and, and when we stretch and dry it, we have a special stretching way that we just put a few pins and we lock it in on a board and uh, it's no staples to take out an end. And maybe it's like uh, eight to 12 different pins that's locked in all the way around the sides. It's done. We don't have to take staples and boards and all that. So anyway, just want to encourage you guys. This is uh, scraping beaver. Uh, you guys saw how fast it goes. Scrape another one. Okay, just put it in. Here he goes. Half of the beaver is scraped. Okay. The second half is scraped. Okay, it's done. There's a little damage in that one, but uh, that's fine. Okay, there you go. There was, there was a damaged beaver. Okay, so that's us. That's us scraping beaver at Grunewald Fur and Wool. That's what it takes. And we said Grunewald Fur and Wool, so maybe I'll just show you quick. I'll show you quick the, uh, the wool here. I'll come over here. Okay, turn it this way. Okay. Okay, there you can see we're in the, you can see we're in the wool business also. Um, this is, you can scan it maybe down there and show them something else down there. Okay. Okay, so I just want to thank you guys for trapping and the whole point of this is to encourage beaver trapping this year. We're extending our routes all through the Midwest. New York guys, go after the beaver. Um, North Carolina, Georgia, Virginia, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky guys call us. Uh, I have guys calling me from uh, West Virginia. Give us a call uh, down south. Give us a call. Um, we, have, we have routes everywhere, uh, so uh, we look forward to seeing you guys at the trucks. If, you're, if you have a bunch of beaver, tell us uh, you have a bunch of beaver, uh, and uh, maybe we can pick them up, or we have wool trucks that go out. But uh, thanks for listening, and we'll see you soon.